Welcome to today's Big Brother 17 updates and spoilers. Our house kiss of the day is Carol Bernice. She is a 73 year old great grandmother. And she's a huge reality TV fan. Yay! Uh, she also wants to see Becky and Johnny Mac in the final two. It's not looking good for that, but you never know. <laughs> Miracles can happen once in a while. Continue the song lyrics. But anyway, um, let's talk about where we're at right now. So yesterday, we were treated to a rare Meg and Vanessa game chat. So they were talking about who should go this week. Is it going to be Steve or Johnny Mac? There's been a lot of debate all week. So Meg thinks this could be a good time to evict Steve. They're not going to have, um, or they haven't had many opportunities where Steve was actually on the block on a Thursday to get rid of him. I mean, he's been nominated a few times, but he usually, like, wins the power veto or whatever. So Meg is like, maybe we should, like, take advantage of this opportunity. She's also worried that he's going to be tougher to get rid of later in the game. So Vanessa's agreeing with this. She's like, yeah, you're so right. But she's still freaking non-committal just like the rest of them. So then Vanessa was talking to Liz and Austin about pretty much the same thing, discussing the upcoming eviction. So Vanessa's just like, can we just like make up our minds already? Yes, please. So Austin, his new reasoning is that Johnny Mac has already spilled a ton of information. He's got nothing left to spill. So if he were to be evicted and then come back, he thinks they're gonna be fine because Johnny Mac doesn't have anything left to say about them. However, if Steve is evicted and then is the returning juror, he's got a lot of dirt on them and he's just gonna spew away. So Austin's pretty worried about that, so his solution is to just keep Steve in the house. <laughs> okay, uh, so Vanessa and Johnny Mac chat and Johnny Mac is just like, yeah, I just talked to the twins and they said that they're gonna vote however you vote. So what do you think? So Vanessa's like, well, I need to do whatever's best for my game. If I have to vote against them, I will, blah, 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 blah. Basically, she needs more time. She's just delaying the inevitable. So then Johnny Mac is like, well, maybe I can get Megan James's votes. And Vanessa's like, you know, I think they might want Steve out. So could be. Uh, so Johnny Mac is like, all right, well, if the twins are a lost cause, I'm going to try it, but he's going to wait a little while longer. So then the Oz twins and Vanessa are talking again, and they finally make a decision. They want to get rid of Johnny Mac, which is pretty much what they've been saying almost the whole entire week, but they would not, like, put a stamp on it. So now they're saying they want to give Johnny Mac hope that he's staying until today, like right before the eviction. They're going to be like, oh yeah we really wanted to keep you but like the house decided to flip at the last minute what house are you referring to there are five votes this week the voting majority is the twins and vanessa that's three that's the majority so like you are the house this week so by saying that you're saying we decided to get rid of you basically um so I don't understand the logic there, but of course they're also going to tell him, like, fight really hard to come back because we want to work with you. Give me a break. All right, so it was another night last night of Sling Band. What happened to BB Bowling? It was a Wednesday. Wednesday is BB Bowling night, but whatever. So after that, <laughs> everyone except for Steve and Johnny Mac met up in the HOH room to talk about what they're going to do this week with the vote. So again, they say they're voting out Johnny Mac. They're not going to tell him until right before. And the official reason, I guess they're going to put this out in the press release, is that Johnny Mac has too many strong connections with the jury members. So they just have to get rid of him. So then Steve comes up. They tell him, like, look, you're safe. Keep your mouth shut because we don't want Johnny Mac to hear about this. All right, so Vanessa heads right downstairs to talk to Johnny Mac, and she's just like, the house decided they're all going to vote together and they're voting you out. So then she's telling Johnny Mac, like, I want you to come back and I want us to work together with Steve. I think we can take on everybody else. Is she being for real or is she BSing him for the jury vote? Who knows? But uh, Johnny Mac is like, well, I don't think I'm dead yet. Like, give me a chance to try and flip Megan James and then I'll just need your vote and I can stay. And she's like, Ugh. And he's like, yeah, it'll be great. It'll be the four of us going after the Aust twins. We got this. And Vanessa's just like, uh, yeah, try it. 
So then this morning, Johnny Mac goes into campaign mode. He talks to Megan James separately. He gives a huge info dump. He's like, yeah, Steve and I had a final two. That was true. Uh, we had a final five with the Oz twins. And he's telling them about all sorts of deals and everything that's been going on that they didn't know about. And the kicker, he tells them about the Freaks and Geeks Alliance, which is Steve, Vanessa, Austin, and the twins. So that's like kind of a big deal. Um, and it seems like this should be enough information to make Meg and James want to get rid of Steve. So then Johnny is telling them, like, keep me, I'll go after Vanessa and the Oz twins, like, no blood on your hands, I'll totally, I'll just do it, it's fine. Um, and he's telling them, like, if Steve stays in this house, like, unless you win HOH, you're gonna be in big trouble. He's gonna come after you, because they're all working together. You're gonna be on the outside. They're not with you. So they're just like, oh, okay, we'll have to think about it. So then Meg and James are comparing notes, and they're like, we need to talk to Vanessa. This is a lot to process. They want to talk to her. So they do. And Meg is just like, you know, I'm getting a really weird vibe from Steve. Uh, he only came to us that one time to ask for our votes and, like, kind of, like, scared of him that he's going to come after us or something. So, then Vanessa goes and talks to Steve and the Oz twins, and she's like, Steve, you need to, like, get your butt moving here. You're freaking out the goblins. They think you're coming after them. You need to reassure them. Um, and then, hearing all this information, the Oz twins are getting pretty angry. They're just like, why is Johnny Mac even trying? Blah, 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 blah. They don't like it. So then, they have the HOH lockdown that they do all the time. The feeds come back from that. And Meg and James are talking, and they're just like, what are we going to do? And James is like, we can't ride the Oz Twins coattails forever. Like, we're going to have to start making moves here. We're going to have to play the game. And Meg is like, well, do you think we should flip the vote? Like, what do we do? So then Meg is like, I feel like we really need to talk to Austin about it. All right, so Meg pulls Austin aside, James joins in, and Meg just spills everything that Johnny Mac told them. Uh, specifically, she's worried about this Freaks and Geeks Alliance. Just to be clear, like, they didn't know the name, but I'm just referring to it as that for you guys. Whatever. You know who I'm talking about. So Austin is denying this alliance. What a liar pants. Uh, he's saying, like, him and the twins picked James and Meg over Vanessa and Steve. They have so much fun together. Like, they want to be with them, not Vanessa and Steve. That is, like, the lamest thing I've ever heard. But anyway, Meg is like, okay, well, we need to talk to Steve then. We need to clear some things up. So they do. Meg and James talk to Steve. And Steve is like, well, I didn't want to be too aggressive uh, campaigning for votes from you guys. That's, like, why I didn't really talk to you that much. And then Meg is like, okay, well, like, are you coming after us? Like, what's the deal? What do you think he's going to say, Meg? Like, yes, I am coming after you. So he says if he wins HOH, he's going to put up the returning juror and a pawn. Did he say who the pawn was? No. He was very vague. And Meg was just like, all right, sounds good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so then Vanessa is talking to James and he's like, I'm really torn still about what to do. And Vanessa's just like, you know what? I think it's too risky to flip right now. I don't think I can do it. So then Meg goes to Johnny Mac, tells him, yeah, it's over. Like, we're voting you out. So sorry, but we'd love to see you come back. All right, so tonight is eviction night. Big Brother told the house guests to wear athletic gear for the show, so I guess there's going to be some sort of a athletic element to the competition tonight. Uh, it looks like Johnny Mac's going to be going, and it's probably going to be unanimous unless something crazy happens, which is very upsetting. Um, I just don't understand what game some of these people are playing. Like, why are you, like, worshipping the Oz Twins? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, and then somebody's going to be coming back tonight. It's going to be either Shelly, Becky, Jackie, or probably Johnny Mac will be the fourth person fighting to come back. So let me know in the comments who you guys are hoping will come back. And uh, yeah, tomorrow should be interesting. So until then, much love.